new one. Yeah, you want to eat granola bars? Uh, my name is Greg Andrews. I'm a uh, large animal veterinarian and I practice primarily on horses and uh, uh, focusing on performance horses, uh, both race horses and, and hunter jumpers. Let's flex that leg up. The education required to be a large animal veterinarian is obviously the same as, as for any veterinarian. Um, and you do require two years, at least two to four years of a of a university study uh, before going into veterinary college, which is a four-year uh, scenario, and then at that point in time, you decide whether you want to specialize so in uh, uh, doing internships and specialties from there on. Uh, we do use a lot of, of uh, uh, very high-tech equipment, and uh, the horses, horses especially, and, and a lot of cattle are, have significant value and owners are able to spend uh, significant uh, effort and money on them. So that's probably the biggest misconception and, uh, of, of, that, of this whole career. Is the, the profession is specializing uh, for sure. Um, not only do you have much fewer mixed animal practitioners, uh, people are usually have a focus, uh, either large animal or small animal. And, and in that, people also have a focus. I have a focus on, on uh, uh, arthroscopic surgery uh, and lamenesses. Uh, I've been called the leg man, uh, quote unquote. Um, and so you certainly, as opposed to more medicine related thing, problems with respiratory diseases, etc., or reproduction. Uh, so, yes, much more specialization is occurring uh, as technology and uh, knowledge expands. I am um, racing quarter horse that. Um, had a choking problem, a uh, reoccurring um, choke, we call it, where the esophagus gets plugged with feed. Um, how do you handle the, the humanitarian aspects uh, of handling animals that are in pain and, and, and require sometimes painful things to be done? Uh, it, it is difficult, especially in your early stages of your, of your career, um, but I think the thing that is that is taught and developed over your over your career is the objectivity uh, of the medicine, and uh, that when when everybody else is panicking and upset, you know the veterinarian is, has to be objective, thinking about his medical background and to solve the problem at hand, and, and that's in essence is, is, is what separates the profession from the person the person who's not the professional, and it, it, it's a learned uh, thing. And no question, some young veterinarians have a hard time handling that aspect of it. Many heads are better than one in, in, in difficult cases, so oh, that's okay. one of the very really stimulating things about veterinary medicine now is that, again, more multiple man practices are occurring that, that where this sort of uh, rapport exists. Because communication is always so important in a multi-man practice, uh, and the, the, the veterinarians in the country had a hard time scheduling appointments at the same time as the, as the clinic was scheduling appointments. We came up with the idea of using the internet uh, and laptop computers to, to uh, allow uh, both the veterinarian in the country and the, and the um, receptionist at the office to book a, a veterinarian's calls. <clears throat> so it's up and running there now um, and probably my day today is what's showing. And uh, here we go. Hello. Hi, Greg. It's Nada. Uh, the biggest challenges and downsides would would be the uh, the hours involved. Uh, large animal uh, medicine does uh, goes 24 hours a day, you know, and. Um, uh, that's that's probably the biggest focus we have. Also, uh, the phys is there is somewhat degree of physical de uh, is physically demanding to some degree is what I meant to say, and um, that can wear on you after a while. And there's there is some opportunity for injury as well working on animals of this size. Really, I, I guess I have no regrets. Uh, I the, my particular career I've chosen has probably uh, almost turned out better than I expected. <laughs> so. Um, uh, probably maybe the only thing is that 
that you work more with people than you think. Uh, some people go into veterinary medicine thinking that, that you'd be able to work with animals as opposed to interaction with people. Uh, it is my feeling that you almost have more interaction with people than, than MDs do in some respects. And again, that's one of the, the challenging and, and, and enjoyable parts of the job is, is taking a young horse with problems uh, uh, with combination of the, with the trainer and the farrier and myself, uh, you know, solving problems that were either there or, or perhaps going to occur and developing this horse into a viable uh, performance horse. Yeah, that's, that, that's the real guts of it right there.